Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome back to my kitchen today. We're gonna be doing tuna salad three ways in preparation for back to school lunches. And I can't wait to share with you what I've done. Let's go see how these all come together. Right, we're just gonna jump right in. We're gonna do tuna, three ways for back to school lunches. Sometimes us moms and kids get bored doing the same thing over and over again. My kids loved tuna, they still do. We go through a lot of tuna in our house. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make tuna salad three different ways. And I've just made a very basic tuna. This is just, um, and before I go any further, I would like to say thank you to Thrive Market for sponsoring this video today. Um, I got everything that you see me use with the exception of the fresh ingredients, like the produce that you're gonna see, from Thrive Market. If you're interested, I'm gonna leave a link down below. You're gonna be able to get 25% off your first order. And um, they do have a membership fee, but you're gonna save between 25 and 50% off everything you purchase from them. So that's going to actually pay for itself over a year's time just so you know I love them I think they have great products and actually I'm gonna share with you how much some of these things were um, the tuna I bought in a four pack this is the wild planet albacore tuna it's sustainably pole and line caught and it's delicious um, this came in a four pack I've used two cans here in this bowl um, and that four pack was $12 and if you've priced out um, wild albacore line caught tuna in the grocery store. It is nearly five dollars plus per can. So to get four cans for twelve dollars, that's three bucks a can. I'm not really upset by that. Um, you all know that I buy tuna on a regular basis, and um, working with Thrive, I wanted to make sure I got everything from um, from their uh, online outlet. And we're using this today. I also am using Sir Kennington Organic Mayonnaise. This is a sunflower oil mayonnaise, and it's really very tasty. Um, is mayonnaise. You know, mayonnaise doesn't taste that different. But we're gonna make a tuna wrap to start off, and I'm using this raw wrap thing. You can use a tortilla, of course, but this is an organic veggie wrap. This is gluten-free, wheat-free, grain-free, preservative-free, and it's made with fruits, vegetables, and what they're calling superfood spices. So um, this wrap is easy. You know how to make a wrap, right? We're gonna go ahead and just put some tuna on here. And you make your tuna however you like. All I have in this tuna, because it's for kids' lunches, is tuna and mayonnaise. So really all we're gonna do is roll this up. And what you can do is just cut this in half. And remember, we eat with our eyes first. So yeah, you know, it's a, it's a nice little tuna wrap. We're gonna wrap this up a little bit differently. Have you guys seen these beeswax wraps? I also got these from Thrive Market. Um, this is an assorted three pack, small, medium, and large. This is muslin that is impregnated with beeswax. And you can reuse these, they wipe off. You don't wanna wash them with hot water. It comes with a little instruction sheet. But I thought these are super cool and a little bit fun and something different for you to consider when packing your kids' lunches. This kind of sticks to itself. So to wrap this up, you're just gonna do this and it kind of molds to whatever you've put in there and it kind of sticks to itself. So okay. you've got this nice, it's kind of waterproof and it's not gonna leak all over everything, but it's gonna keep that sandwich nice and fresh. It saves you a lot of plastic bags. Don't eat the wrapper and bring it home. Don't throw it away. And they're about $12. This was about $12 for this package. The next thing I'm gonna share with you is a simple one. And I'm gonna make this super easy. I'm gonna put some tuna right in here. And then over here, I'm gonna put some crackers because we love tuna and crackers. These are the late July organic. This is like a Ritz. Um, butter cracker, very tasty. Oh, yeah. I also got the saltines and these are very tasty too. But that's that, I would put a fork or a spoon in here for them to spread the tuna on the cracker or of course they could just dip it in there. Mm -hmm. um, if you want, don't have any fresh fruit, my girls love these silly squeezy fruit things and Molly actually um, tried 
this and says it's one of the best ones she's ever had. So this is by Plum. It's an organic mashup. This is applesauce with berries and she really liked it. That's what I would do there. Maybe throw in a handful of grape tomatoes or some carrot sticks, celery sticks or whatever. But boom, that's lunch. My third lunch idea, we're just going to go ahead and use the tuna that we have left here in the bowl. We're gonna make a tuna pasta salad. And I picked up from Thrive Market, Bonza, and these are past this pasta made from chickpea flour. And I thought I would give it a try because I love trying new things and Thrive happened to have this stuff. And I was really excited to try it. It tastes just like regular pasta. Mm -hmm. You can't really tell. I got the shell variety, but they have all kinds. And it does take a little bit longer to boil than, um, than traditional wheat pasta. I don't know if that's just because of the nature of the chickpea flour or what, but it did take longer than eight, seven to eight minutes for it to cook. So I would say it took an extra five minutes longer for it to cook. I was gonna put this in here, but I'm not a huge fan of sweet relish in my tuna. But if you wanna add some sweet relish, if your family is a big fan of that, um, then go for it. Do you want me to put some in here? Are you going to eat this? I'm going to put a little bit of sweet relish in here just to kind of zip it up a little. You could also put mustard. Some people like to put hard cooked eggs in their tuna pasta salad. So now, of course, we would send them with a fork or a spoon or something of that nature. But <clears throat> how lovely is this? Just fill up your lunch container with however much pasta salad they're gonna be eating. I think that looks about good for a serving. And boom, another option for a school lunch using tuna. Something different, maybe you haven't thought of, maybe you're just starting out your school year. My kids haven't started school yet, they don't for a couple more weeks, but all over the country, kids are getting ready to go back to school. And then in the box, I would also pack one of these, just like I would pack one of these um, with this tuna wrap and then everybody would have a fruit and a protein, a starch, and a veggie. And there you go, tuna salad three ways all ready for back to school. We've got our tuna wrap and we've used this raw wrap which is kind of like, a, it's made kind of like fruit leather so it's made with fruit and vegetable and um, seasonings and it's not that bad. So, you know, use an open mind. You can always use a tortilla though, like I said. and tuna and crackers. So we've got our tuna salad with our butter crackers and our saltine crackers and tuna pasta salad. Our shell pasta that is made from chickpeas along with our tuna that we mixed in there with it and a little bit of sweet relish. I've paired that with some grape tomatoes and all of these have been paired with mashups, um, squeezy fruit. I call it squeezy fruit. You call it whatever you want. Um, additional options to go in the bag would be an apple or a banana or the fruit of your choice um, and maybe even a little treat. I always like to give my girls a little treat in their lunch like you know, maybe a chocolate piece of chocolate or uh, a brownie that we made the night before or something like that. Just a little something. That is how I've decided to do tuna salad three ways for school lunches. I hope this is helpful. I hope it gives you some new ideas and I hope you learned something. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I would love to thank you for joining me today. If you are new here in my kitchen, welcome. It's always lovely to have new people join me. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and if you are already already a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please remember to hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I'd like to thank Thrive Market for sponsoring this video today and providing all of the food with the exception of the fresh ingredients for this demonstration. And if you have any questions about Thrive Market or would like to get 25% off your first order, please use the link down below, which will take you to a landing page where you can learn more and sign up for that service. So I hope you give this a try and I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.